Okay guys, first of all, you may hear some rain in the background. Um, we're going through a rainstorm right now. We figured out what better time than to knock out a video. So I wanted to bring this to you. I know many of you may have these UCP, Universal Camouflage Pattern uniforms, and think that they're pretty much so worthless because they don't blend in within your environment. And I totally agree. I ended up with seven, eight, 10 sets of these that were given to me for free and I know that they're readily available. You can get them for almost nothing if not free because these are being dumped from military um, stocks into the civilian market and they're really not being used that much anymore. Uh, it's an excellent cut of uniform. I love all the features that the ACUs offer but again in this pattern they don't blend in in most environments here in the U.S. So I decided to experiment a little bit. I think I've, I've kind of finalized a process so that we can turn these from what you see here to this. We've simply dyed this uniform and we've taken what was a fairly ineffective camouflage pattern and turned it into a quite effective summer camouflage pattern for a woodland environment. We'll have some uh, video here at the end of this showing some quick clips of this being used in an actual outdoor environment so you can see how well it works. But for about $7 worth of materials, you can dye a complete uniform, maybe two, and change them from that non-functional UCP to BCP, Bruce Camouflage Pattern. So we're going to start out with our RIT liquid dye. Make sure you get apple green. There are a lot of other colors of green available out there. Apple green is what you want. All the other colors don't give you the right shade of green to blend in with your environment. Apple green is what you want in the liquid dye. Now if you read the directions on this dye, it'll tell you that depending on whether it's the material is made of cotton or nylon, you want to use salt or vinegar. Well ours is 50-50 NICO. So it's 50% nylon, 50% cotton. So we're going to go with a half a cup of salt, half a cup of white vinegar. You're also going to need some kind of stir stick. And this will obviously get dyed as you use it, so don't use anything that's going to be good or reused. You're going to want some kind of weight. Um, I've got a nice piece of depleted uranium here, but a piece of steel will work if you put it in a Ziploc bag or a rock, a brick, anything heavy to keep your clothes from floating. Lastly, you're going to need about three gallons of water in a big uh, pot. If you don't have one of these Mexican tamale pots, then um, you can even use a five gallon plastic bucket and just um, heat your water in a small pot and continue to pour that once it's boiling into the five gallon bucket until you've got about three gallons of water. Um, we're going to put this on the uh, stove now. We're going to bring it up to a boil. And um, once it's boiling, we'll start adding these other materials in. Okay, we got our water up to a boil. We're going to add half a cup of vinegar. We're going to add half a cup of salt. We're going to add our dye, entire bottle. We're going to give that a stir. Then we're going to start putting our clothing in. Alright, so we're going to add our camouflage clothing now. I'm going to push these all the way in and make sure they get fully submerged. There's no dry spots.
we're going to agitate these every 15 minutes for one hour. Okay, those are fully submerged. This is where you can take your weight and put on there to kind of hold them down into place. they will try to float up. Alright. We're just going to let these sit. We'll come back in 15 minutes and we'll move those around a little bit. Okay. We're 15 minutes in. I'm going to come in here. We're going to, you can see how well that color is taken. Keep in mind this water is still very hot. But we're just going to agitate this around. Kind of lift it out. Tell you what, it is for sure hot. We're just going to agitate this around and uh, stir it up a little bit to make sure that the dye is setting into all the little nooks and crannies of all the material and we don't have any dry spots. And we'll put the lid back on this when we're finished agitating and we'll wait another 15 minutes. Okay, so we're 30 minutes in. We're gonna stir these one more time. The color's taken nicely, as you can see. Now, if you get the desired color that you want, you can stop this process. You don't have to leave it in for the full hour, but what I found is two things. One, the material appears darker when it's wet, so once it dries, it'll lighten up. And two, once you've washed it a couple of times, a little bit of the dye will come out also, and it will also lighten up. So I like for mine to be a little darker, than my end result that I'm anticipating having. So I'm gonna end up leaving these in here for the full hour. So we're just gonna agitate these one more time. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and uh, see how it looks. Okay guys, we're 45 minutes in. Just about done here. I'm gonna agitate these once more and then um, 15 minutes later, we'll have them, it had them in here for an hour. And we'll take them out and have a look at the finished product. So stay with us. 15 more minutes. Okay, so we're an hour in. We are going to take these out. We're going to rinse them in cold water. You can do this in a bathtub or you can use your same pot if you want. Um, until they're not getting any more dye out of the clothing and then we'll let those dry. You can throw them in the washing machine also just make sure you don't wash anything else with them because that dye is going to seep out for the first couple of washings and it'll turn your other clothes a shade of green. That's basically it guys. Um, well, Stay tuned. We're going to take this out tomorrow and actually uh, get it out in the sunlight and show you guys how it looks. So uh, well Yep, once we get these rinsed out and dried, that'll be the next part of the video.
I hope this video and process has helped you guys, whether you're thrifty or on a budget or just want to be creative and do something with all of these UCP uniforms that are floating around out there. Uh, this dyeing process I think is very effective in this kind of an environment. And for those of you that, that live in a wooded environment in the summertime or even a jungle environment, I think that this is a pretty effective dye job. I know some of you have mentioned that this uh, sort of appears to be like a Mexican uh, pixelated temperate pattern or even CAD pat and there are some similarities but obviously it's not the same but again you're only going to end up spending you know five bucks or so if you've already got the uniforms and you can do this dye job at home and knock out a uniform for yourself. Some of you may be asking will this work on Cordura nylon? Probably not. We've uh haven't tested that, but um, I don't think the nylon is going to take the dye as well as the 5050 Nyco will. The 5050 Nyco does take the dye really well, as you can see. And this one's been washed a couple of times with very uh, minimal fading. So, at any rate, guys, thanks for viewing. I'm going to throw a video, a camouflage effectiveness video of this up on Brando331's channel. So, if you haven't come here from there, go from here to there and check it out, please. Thanks a lot for your views, guys. I appreciate it.